When we typically think about a polynomial, we would probably describe a polynomial as something kind of like this, maybe, maybe like 5x to the third minus 7x plus 10. It's a collection of terms that are added or subtracted. They have constants and variables, and the variables have exponents that are non-negative integers like x to the third and x to the first. And so those are the criteria that we typically describe when we talk about polynomials. Um, we can add polynomials like this, we can subtract polynomials like this, we can evaluate them at certain x values, and all those good things. But if you think back to the technical definition of a polynomial, it was all those things, but it never specified that you could only have just a single variable. And so if you had more than one variable, that would, that would totally be fine. So you could actually have a polynomial in several variables, perhaps something like this, maybe x squared y minus 5y cubed plus 2x minus 1. This is still t technically a polynomial. You have multiple terms that are added or subtracted together. You have constants and variables and the variables exponents are non-negative integers so it's totally fine to be considered as a polynomial um, now this does open up a few uh, questions like how do you find the degree of this polynomial and, and things like that but um but you know nevertheless it is still a polynomial that we see from time to time so let, let's actually talk about degree here for a minute when you have um, a polynomial that has multiple variables then the degree of a single term will be the sum of the variable exponents in that term. So if I click back here for a minute, if you look at, at this first guy here, this is actually just this term has degree three because this is x to the second and y to the first and two plus one make three. So let's, let's actually look at an example here. If you had maybe a, an example like um, 4x to the fifth y squared minus 8x cubed plus 5xy uh, minus 1. Now let's talk about the degree of each of these terms. So this first term would have degree 7. Now why would it have degree 7? Well, x to the fifth and y to the fourth, five and two make seven. It's the sum of the variable exponents. The four has no bearing on this term's degree. The second term is just a single variable. So of course the degree of the second term would be three. Um, you tell me what would be the degree of the third term? You'd have x to the five, x to the first, y to the first. This term would have a degree of two and obviously the constant would have a degree of zero. So now what, what's the degree of the entire polynomial? Well, it's defined as the highest degree of any term, and, th and that's what it's always been. So now even though you have multiple variables, you can still talk about the degree of the polynomial. Uh, for example, this particular polynomial here has degree, uh, I think it'd be seven, because degree seven was the highest degree of any of the individual terms. So um, now we can, you know, we can still add these guys like we typically do. We can still subtract them. We can combine like terms. We can even evaluate them if we're given an x, y value. Um, we can do all the things that we can typically do with our, our regular one variable polynomials. But in this video, I just wanted to introduce you to these guys and just talk a little bit about them.